Vodafone presents the pre-match. The pre-match indeed is exactly where we find ourselves. Of course, my name is Trey Senesrathis alongside of Chad Sponge Burchill. And now we tune in for our final matchup of the evening. It's going to be a little bit of big versus the likes of North, where in which North have just come off of a game, might have a little bit of momentum there, but you cannot underestimate this big team they did find themselves a path in the major that was very suitable for them not, they didn't quite win the thing but nonetheless one champion was born out of there one crowd favorite some might even say and i have to think that it's also attributed a little bit to his alias i think it's just catchy people like, it yeah, sounds smooya. like a yogurt brand smooya yeah what's smooya a, what is yogurt. a yoga brand yogurt yogurt i was like yogurt. okay well i mean i guess so it's like smooth on top or if you were british you'd say yogurt yeah, well, I'm neither of those things. So what we can attest to this is we're going to be seeing our first map of train. Sure. Now, this is the map where in which Big beat Hill Razors to qualify for the playoff of the major. Damn, Daniel, that's a pretty cool little stat line to be throwing out there. But Big have also already played tonight. They played against Hill Razors on two maps. They played uh, and lost 16 to 10. And then they won the second map quite convincingly, which was Dust 2. 16 to 2 so they're warmed up and ready for this one now you are right they did make a, a deeper run at the major than what i think a lot of us were expecting they went out in uh, i guess fiery fashion and not in the good way more like a car on fire as opposed to uh <laughs> the fire from the mocking jay but uh the fact of the matter is these guys when it comes to the realms of counter-strike in my mind at least historically were one hit wonders and that has been changed now i actually think that this is a core of a team that actually has a lot of firepower you look at obviously tabson the best german player for a long period of time next has stepped back up to the plate we knew in 2015 what he was capable of and now he's back in action smooya on that awp tizian has had a good game tonight but mainly doing a lot of supportive roles and god b legendary in-game leader from mouse sport 1.6 days of fame has also been able to multi-frag quite proficiently. And that's also led to this turnaround with the big team. Now, we know they're well-drilled. We know that they're well-prepared. They have a lot of different strategies. But, you know, talking to Smuya in the early stages and reading his interviews, he didn't seem too confident that he was going to last in this team, Trace. Yeah, and I guess, too, on top of that, this is a guy full of confidence. We've seen some of his interviews as well, yeah, where he sort of... Now, I don't want to use the word lash out, but he definitely speaks his mind. He's not afraid to, uh, to be a little flagrant about it. And it's... It's okay. Well, I think, you know, we do need big personalities, and he is quite a young guy, but uh, the fact of the matter is he is leading the way, I suppose, for British Counter-Strike to say, hey, look, if you actually are dedicated to the game and you put in the hours and maybe you don't necessarily need that cocky attitude, you can be a good player. You can play towards the upper echelon of Counter-Strike. So this big roster is exciting because they always tend to bring something new. They always tend to have some, some forms of innovation. I don't think we saw everything out of them at the major because of the, how swiftly they got through the certain right. stages. So I think there's definitely more in the tank. And they're going to want to redeem themselves from going out to Na'Vi in such a fashion, right? They didn't really show up for that game. Well, it's certainly something where you have to start making your uh, stand, your statement, so to say. If you want to show that you had a great presence at the tournaments like the major or any of them, to be honest, mm. you don't want it to be a one-off affair. You want it to be consecutive wins consecutive good showings they within did. multiple tournaments at least the last time that we saw them play train it was against the Hellraisers, and that ct side was looking just proper yeah and i think you know if you look at this team and what they're able to do off the back of smooth on the orb you also have a secondary opera in tabs and i don't think he even needs to pick it up but he is a, quite a proficient opera in that regard the biggest issue with this team if we're going to outline problems is communication and how fiery they can be at each other right they can actually get stuck into each other they can can be talking uh, a bit of trash to to the teammates if things aren't going in their direction navi-esque in a lot of ways and just talking to smooth sometimes in the early Early stages of the tournament they were just like not tournament but in the in the career of the team they were kind of just like getting upset at him in German and that's quite a difficult thing to understand as someone who lives in Germany sometimes people are yelling stuff at me and I don't know what it means maybe they're not even trying to be abrasive maybe, maybe. it's just kind of how that language just falls out of the mouth yeah you know? it is but have you ever heard the butterfly in that language no I can't say it but it sounds like trash it sounds like just hot mustard yeah well, one team that's not exactly looking like hot mustard or trash tonight would be North. Their mm. opponents were in which, yes, we just talked about North. We just talked about some of the cool things they've got going on in there. But perhaps you fresh or refresh the viewer's mind here, Chad. We did actually already see Train this evening with these guys, right? And the thing is, if we just want to give you a little little course here on the new North, it is a new North. MSL is no longer the in-game leader. He's basically been a part of this roster, or at least, you know, fragrance of it. Fragrances? Fra fragments? Fragments of it. Fragments, since, yeah. Yeah. Fragrances smell 
Canal since, uh, you know, that run that they had at Epicenter in 2016 where they actually won the whole thing. Now, we're getting back to the business, and it is a new team with three stars, Volder, Kirby, and AZ, and then Kadian also had some good games this tonight as well, and Gade, I guess he's kind of just feeling whatever roles he's needed to do. But the players you're seeing on the screen here, MSL gone, Cajun B gone. A lot of roster changes have happened in this team. Config is also gone. So it is a completely new North roster to what you may have been used to last season. And all signs are pointing North for their start in this season with two big wins over Heroic. And I think they are probably considered must wins, Trace. Yeah, especially early on here in the season when, you know, you might actually catch some of these other teams off guard. I'm going to have to go out on a limb here and say that North can't be that well drilled given the timeline, I think. Definitely not. And you could see it show in that Dust 2 game. It was relatively scrimmy. It was all over the place. You know, they were finding kills on, on Freiburg along through smokes. It wasn't necessarily uh, the most well-structured game, but they do have the players who can roam around and find a lot of opening picks. And we found some other people who are good at picking things. Yep, picking things. Maybe not the winners of matches, but probably more over their noses or whatever else that they pick late at night. Now, guys, I'm going to have to ask you where you sit on this one because we have a Smoothie number one fanboy on the end and then somewhere close to that, probably around Smoothie fanboy number like Actually, I think 30. he's the biggest Smoothie fanboy. I'm not a Smoothie fanboy. I don't know. Nah, I mean, nah. didn't you get your mouse pad? Can we leave him to this? Yeah. I don't have a mouse oh, okay. pad. Well, uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I think I think Big are going to take this one. You know, let's go. Let's Why not? You're excited Team UK. that well, Big are going to take this I, one. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm slightly more realistic. Like I think a one-one split. To be honest, I think you're just you're you're just pandering, Harry. Okay, it's, pandering like, it's like Australians. It's like he loves renegades. Is one thing. Yeah. But you can't lie about the numbers. Like we've said, the numbers don't lie, and that also puts both of these teams sitting in a comfortable position coming into this matchup. Both having played matches already tonight. They're probably going to be They're feeling warm. themselves. They're definitely warm. I don't think you're not going to... I'm. No one has any excuse for having a quiet game, right? Yeah. There's no, oh, you know, we weren't feeling it or we needed the first map to warm up. They need to get stuck into it instantly. I think Train, the way that we saw it unfold early, there was like pressure points for this North roster. They were 4-0 down. They turned it around. They got the orb up on KD and they were finding picks and then they were keeping pressure on that economy. going to be harder to do against Big, who I think have more bailout strategies. Right. We did talk about Heroic being more scrimmy, whereas Big are a team who actually have a lot of... Strats, a lot of tactics, a lot of moves. A lot of moves and uh, a lot of clicks, one might even say. Of course, uh, maybe I tell you about our little friends down over at the Mountain Dew League. Head over to ESCA.net slash Mountain Dew League. It's the surefire path to the ESL Pro League, where in which you can find the likes of these gentlemen. All of us, I guess. That's how that works, right? Well, we get to talk about you. We get to talk about you. Mm. And in the up and coming, at least. So, Train, uh, we'll just go down the line here. And I'll start with, uh, you know, at least the opinion of least importance. And then we'll start with you, Harry. Yeah, yeah cheers for that, Trace. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think Big are going to take this one. Like I say... Just the first uh, map or the, or I'll, the two? I'll, I'm going to be really... I'll, I'll say like a 1-1 one -one okay. in the series, go. right? But uh, I, I, th I think Smoothie was having a fantastic game in all seriousness. If you, I mean, like from what I could tell from keeping up with the B stream here. As you do. He, he was looking good. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I, Tabson had a few decent moments as well. So did Tizian, from what I can tell. At least on one of the two. Dust two, yeah, so, Tizian yeah, went yeah, off. Yeah. Tizian went on a tear there. Right? Who do you got, Hugo? I, I'm going to stick in the same boat. I'm going to go with Big for the first map. I think Overpass is where, where maybe North can pull things back. But uh, but for Train, yeah, Big. I'm going with Big on both, Trace. Ooh. Okay. Go Why is that, at home. I just think they're a better team at this point. North is still too new as a roster, and Big with the uh, the ability to outstructure and outdiscipline a new North unit should have the team advantage. Not necessarily the firepower advantage, but the team advantage. Well, the team advantage could very well lie in this North side. I mean, let's be honest, guys. Kadian's back, and he's on a tear. Is he? Okay, maybe not exactly. But there's still time for that, of course. We're going to be jumping into this matchup. I do believe I need to tell you about these Ooh. Betway odds first and foremost, though. They're really wow. even here, guys. Tort like a Torga. Yeah, that's kind of cool. No, I think that's rel that, that's fair. At the moment, because where we don't know where North are, you don't want to be putting them as massive favorites. And also, people know that big don't always play fantastically online, which is weird to say. They do, for a German team, uh, they do tend to show up on land, you know, and that's where they're more prepared. So the question is, Gobby can't really prepare a game plan for North because they aren't a roster with too much information on. So I did go for big, and I'm going to stick with it, but it's on the back of Tabson. Stick to your guns, Chad. That's what I've known you to do. Big versus North. Here is our matchup. That wraps up the Vodafone pre-match, and it's time to give it over to the guys who will be doing all the talking going forward. It's Hugo and Harry. Someone's got to get it done. Thank you very much, Trace. We are happy to bring the final two maps of the night, Harry. Of course, Big versus North. We're going straight into this one on train as well. We've seen a bit of train tonight. I think this one's going to be our best game of the night, in my opinion. 
Well, uh, only time will tell, Hugo. I am excited either way. Any game, you know, where we get to see the, uh, the UK Hope grace our screens is, uh, is bound to be a good game. So, big V North. About to be underway. You can see we just saw North play, and it was a pretty decent performance yeah. from them, all things considered. They picked up a 2-0 to kickstart their run here uh, on ESL Pro League. Now a chance to uh, go ahead and broaden their horizons, continue to build upon this lead as they head into this game versus Big, who currently sit one to one for the day. A win on, I believe, Dust2 versus Hellraiser, then a loss on Cash, I want to say, off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah, it was. So, you know, for Big, shot of redemption here. Shot to try and uh, start to work their way up that leaderboard early on once again. Straight into this one. Utility up on the big side. We've got a P250 on Smooya as well. Smoke up on God B and already set up outside of this A bomb site. Looking for maybe the late round execute. We've got Smooya working his way down Ivy. Kind of solo here. Big with two players on the other side. So he's got to be very careful about that. But you can imagine Gay will be drawn off this position once the rest of Big actually push out through A main. Big actually boosting up in B as well. Just trying to check for... Anyone at the back of the train, instead no one's there. We do have two players down on B though. And look at this early rotate from AZ. This is curious. North are going for a bit of a gamble stack. This is not off any information because we've not seen any players here from the T side just yet. So three players up on B. Of course, it's very easy to rotate AZ back into that A site if need be. But for now, Big, got the utility about to go over and they are going to hit this A site. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. And they're going to be stacking up outside. Here is uh, Papa Smoot on your screens. Can't be lining up the utility to try and make this play a reality. 35 seconds left, give or take a few as this play comes on in. Four players here for North to try and turn back the coming tide. That is the big boys. Oh, that nade already going to go to dunk down Tabson and Tizian between them. They're both going to get brought to their knees, but Tizian and Gobby, the men Ooh. to open up, and Tizian was on a tear back on Dust too. He looks to try and continue that here. As he's found himself a quick double, it all falls onto Kierby, who's in a 1v5. Has worked his way into an unknown position. They don't know he's here, but oh, uh, that's a whiff uh, if you ever did see one. And Nex is not going to be so kind as to give him another shot at finding that kill. So Big going to be securing the pest around here on train. And, uh, you know, looking to try and continue where they kind of left things off with Hellraisers a bit. Yeah, for the fact that Big actually lost the first map of that series and still managed to 16-2 them on the second is pretty ridiculous. So, definitely got it in them. And as you said it yourself, Tizian had a fantastic game, actually top fracking right above Smooya as well. So, if he can come in big into this game, that would be nice to see. 1-0 here for the Germans. North. Pistols upon pistols. We've got Cadian saving for that AWP later on. A nice shot from AZ catching tabs and sneaking his way in. Got B going to watch for the boost, but it's not come through. They've instead retrieved the AK. Gob is just focused on this pop dog. In fact, they're just going to negate this AK behind them and try and take control towards the A site. We've got two players out Ivy. Gade's going to be in the open, and God B is not ready for that one. Baudi's even found himself a third kill. Sorry, second kill with that AK. Things are starting to look very, very hot and heavy for Big, and they need to turn things around, but it's only next left standing. Does take down Baudi. USP back out, and he even spotted the last player as well, so he's got the information. Time for the reload, but does he get the shot? It's so much damage and not converting to a kill. AZ's not got the range. He's only on it. SMG and even manages to cross into connector. I don't think Nex has realized. Yeah, I mean, that says a sneeze in the wrong direction is all it's going to take to drop Nex right now. And what well, big left in a 1v1 that really feels like it never should have been. It's Nex on 3 HP to try and keep them in this round. And easy, as you point out, might only have that CZ and the SMG, but he has to land one shot. That is it. Gonna alleviate a lot of the pressure. Perhaps even the SMG a little bit better in this regard. That said, being packed out of 26. Now the AK. That's gonna find him in one shot as well. So both these guys essentially dead on the first peak. Everything needs to go their way. The bomb goes down, and next gonna go to plant it for pop. Falls on back over here towards main, trying to Fake the angle, trying to make AZ anticipate that play in from Pop Dog. Meanwhile, Nex is real intentions to go go ahead and tuck himself into main. And AZ still yet to spot anything out. Doesn't have a kit. This round does not seem likely. Half that time gone. And AZ, the pressure's on now. He's going to start to sweat as the pressure starts to amount here for North. And 
Taps on the bomb. That's not enough to draw out Nex into the open. Time's already ticked down far too low. And there we go. The round going to be secured as Nex remains the hero for big. They're going to move up 2-0. Comes down to the wire, though. And North will be happy finding a boatload of damage there oh in that round. God. That shot from Valdi. <laughs> Straight through the smoke to Tizian's head in Ivy. But yeah, great clutch from Nex nonetheless, as you say. Big, I mean, lots of money lost. Let's not forget that. They are not going to be making too much of a, of a profit after that previous round. It's now going to be north on USPs, luckily enough. So this gives Big the opportunity for that 3-0 start. As close as it did come, it is now back in control of the Germans. For now, because north are getting aggressive, they want to try and bring the fight back with these pistols. Problem is, even with the manpower, they're just so under-equipped for this fight. Got B spraying away. That's an awkward spray. He's not going to find a thing. Nex gets double dinked. He's still standing strong, but he needs his teammate to come bail him out as Gade's caught himself in the corner here. The peek out from Nex will finally finish him off, and now things are starting to normalize. Two players left up for North, and Tizian's out Ivy, which is going to make matters worse here for the Danes. Ooh, well, smooth, yep, dropped as well. These pistols doing damage. You've got to be a little bit worried now. As Tapson's bought down low as well. They know where AZ is, and they are able to cling on, but you get a little bit worried. I mean, you know, it was only the vanilla pistols for the most part. It was like one PT-50 invested mm -hmm. in that round, and you almost find yourself, what, three or four kills. So uh, good round from North nonetheless. Now the, the going really does get tough here for either one of these teams heading into this first buy round, Hugo. We can see, you know, the AWP can be bought out early on for Cadian. No AWP in sight for AZ. We saw him have a good time with it over on Dust2 just moments ago. Over on, uh, you know, the German boys. You know, our one British man in the roster. He doesn't have the AWP out. It's just going to be rifles across the board. Oh, Tizzy, a nice entry there down Popdog. Even lost some early damage, but still committed to the fight. Early pick. It's going to look good for Big now. Even the flashbang catching Cadian out in the open, in the middle of the site. He goes down as well. Nex has even killed the Ivy player to make matters worse. And Smooth is not missing his shots either. Big, flawless in this round right now. Faudi is all that stands here for the side of North. Five on one. This is done, Harry. This round is over. It's just about damage or saving here for Valdi. Which one will he opt to do? Because as you can see, Big are already beginning to hunt. Tizian sneaking through that connector. No real need to start chasing because you know North aren't going to be buying next round regardless. They have to eco it. But it would just be nice to take that last gun away. Make sure they have no chance of winning the next round with just USPs or CZs and armor at least because Lost Menace will have built up by then. Now as the time ticks away, Valdiga should at least begin to worry about his back line with no one coming from the CT side. Or CT spawn, sorry. I don't think Tizian will find him in time. Oh, that was very notoriously B.I.G., of course, the real big popper. That's uh, Gobby making the call there for the fast play outside. And in the end, they do hypnotize me, and they go ahead and find themselves a fourth round. They're going to be uh, sporting an early lead here. The buy comes in from north. They're able to invest at about $2,000. So they're still looking for a buy in this coming round as well. This now gives them a shot to try and get some damage done with these pistols, with the armor. A little bit of light investment, Hugo. Uh, you know, you love a bit of light investing. So... Uh, Let's see if it pays off for, for North as well as it does for you. I have no you know, idea. Your bank account is very inflated. I, I really don't Heir know. to the Byron throne. <laughs> the manor house. Nice damage there. That's important. Valdi, he was the one player who brought a gun into this round, and he's already down to 28 down on that B site. Didn't get anything for it either. He should really throw that gun over. I'm aware he has head armor, but everyone's got AK, so give that to Gay, give that to Kierby, someone with armor here, swap it with the CZ. That'd be nice to see, but sticking on it for now. Still lethal, even with 20 points of health. Big taking their time with this one. Tizian does spot some movement down Ivy. So Smoke on the left side at least alludes to the fact that he could push out the right into the site and Big also looking to execute out through Pop Dog in the meantime means that this is more than likely although Tizian's going to back off of Ivy the Smokes go out onto A but Big aren't committing in fact North they've read this well they've fully rotated towards B that's exactly where Big are beginning to look as well this could be very good for, Dan for the Danes It definitely could they're looking to try and Denmark their territory inside of this B-bomb site and 
brace yourself for the day in train. It's going to be Val there to open things up. Quick frag on a tizzy, and that was the bomb dropped as well. They had to run forward to go ahead and get it. 15 seconds, and there is a wrap round coming in from Gobby. Smooya decimating players with the orb oh. left and right. Tabson going to manage one more. It's Gade inside of this bomb site. There's only seven seconds left. He's oh. dropped the bomb. The bomb's down and out in the open, and oh my goodness, Gade's oh. tapping them down with the 5-7. What a display of marksmanship from this man who hasn't been having the game of a lifetime today. He shows up there in spades and, I mean, stands and delivers exactly when North needs him to. Big going to be kicking themselves there. Their timer becomes the real issue. You know, it's a couple of chance shots from Gade with that 5-7. The bomb gets dropped and suddenly, you know, all the pressure falls to God B who is wrapping around. He knows he has to get the kill there. There was only six seconds left, so he had to try and take the fight. And ultimately, I mean, Gade able to win that out. That there is going to be a pretty gut-wrenching round for Big to lose and a pretty, you know, confidence-boosting round for North. Yeah, sick one tap onto Smoothie as well. I mean, that's so unfortunate for Big. They, they, you know, the two players actually pushed onto the site were were in separate occasions. They were on their own, no tradable uh, teammates here. As you can see, Valdi gets this nice shot to start things off, and I like that as well. 20 HP plays the headshot angle, doesn't commit to an open body fight where he can just get one tapped in the chest. So a very close round, nice shots from Smoothie, but it won't be enough. Gabe with a huge clutch. Look at this second kill as well onto the player on the left side of the bomb site. Just Boom. Yeah, I mean, that's the one that does it, As but then, do. then he does it again. The 5-7 is not even meant to be good. How is he doing <laughs> no, this? No, the 5-7 is good. It's just the CZ's better. That's the thing. But I, I love the 5-7. I love that gun. You I don't use the five, it. Seven. Yeah, I don't use it, but you don't. <laughs> I just, I'm a big fan of the 5-7. Yeah, I mean, you know, what what can I say, Hugo? Who isn't? You know, it is... Uh, better than the Tech 9. Tech 9 is pretty lit as well. Yeah, I always love, I think it's JW uses it. No one uses it anymore, Harry. I'm pretty sure he still does. I think he even has the R8 equipment. JW is just big old, big old troll. <laughs> Kadian, anyway. This man. Ow, he's going to fall. Smoothie opens up. Tizian. Uh, they've completely decimated everyone down here on Ivy. This is not the start the North wanted to a round that, you know, they were feeling pretty confident heading into. They had plenty of money. You see, they invested in everything because that previous round, let's not forget, was really just uh, a partial buy anyway. And uh, Valve is good for one more. He's going to be taking the fight in the fire and flames. Tizian and Tabson go ahead and get rid of him, leaving once again all the pressure on Gay. Now, he's been a, uh, a tough nut to crack, but let's see if they can do just that. Once again, he's dropped the bomb. He's very resourceful, very good at finding his diamond in the rough that is that bomb. And now he's got time to play with. 50 seconds and Gade, just such a nuisance. Going to be... Uh, Looking to cost them everything. It's big regardless to still pick up the round. Gobby shuts him down. Doesn't want Gage playing with their hearts and minds any more than he already has. And that'll be them holding on to a fifth round. Mm, that's, that's the round to win if you're big, yeah? It, it can really get in your heads if you lose such an annoying you know, antico like they did in the previous. But if you bounce back and actually get the reset, look at the effect that that's had on the money. Not only for big, but also for north, right? They've got the AWP, yes, on Cadian, but that's the only weapon we have to worry about. However, Smooth's definitely got to worry because he's already been taken down. First pick found for north. It's exactly what they needed. In a round like this where you only got one weapon, that one weapon needs to do so much damage and it's followed up onto God B, putting him down on 35 health, legged as he crosses past the sandwich. However, with this, Kierby's going to push him through the smoke and even though he gets the kill, it's going to allow a player to walk up Ivy in the meantime. Look at Tizian. He's flanked all the way back round and Nex has even got Kierby cornered here as well. This is good from Big. They might be able to catch out another frag, but Kierby is unstoppable right now. Another kill coming through before Tabson eventually silences him, but he's getting tagged and flanked as well. Big are getting torn apart with the pistols. Just Tizian remains in a 1v4. And once again, that ever-elusive bomb does not want to be on the backs of Big. It's gone down and out over towards main. Tizian managing one. That's Kadian to fall. There is another man here to try and contend with in the form of Gade. He's able to back away for the time being, but Tizian is aware. They're, oh Ooh. my goodness, Tizian. What a man. He is going to go down. But, uh, you know, you really start to believe in that situation. It's Gade with what is now becoming his iconic 5-7 to cement that second round for North. But uh, what is this new Tizian we've seen? He loves a bit of online Counter-Strike right now. Again, take into account this man has played in a, a lot of German teams, you know, they love a bit of online CS. It's definitely showing right now. It's unfortunately, he only had three bullets left. If he had more, I have, I'm no doubt he would get that kill to Gade. Unfortunately, forced to tap. 
Now it is just CZ's here for big fast play outer yard. Godby's already out, but he spots a man in Pop Dog. Problem is, doesn't have the range to deal with that. Next, look at his position. He could even kill Kadian. Kadian has no idea. Too busy focusing on tabs and down in Ivy. And next is going to give away his position without getting a kill for it. That's unfortunate. Literally one bullet or two bullets away from death on to Gade. He's going to get flanked. And yeah, Valde's there to finish it off with the AWP. So North, they are proving the big's early start to this map has not stopped them. They found their third here on the CT side. They've put big on pistols. Now the buy coming back in here for the Germans. Yeah, and as we take a look at this buy as it comes on in, the curious thing is going to be, do we see Tizzy and Opta drop an AWP over? And the answer is going to be no. Instead, going for the AK, the extra utility, and it's still looking pretty limited, all things considered. You've got three smokes, five flashbangs, and a nade and a Molotov to try and work with here. Any avenue that they're able to get work themselves into grab with that utility they're now going to look to have to hold on to as well we can't afford to see any of these more drawn out defaults from them and you can already see rounds only been going on for a little bit they've already started to kind of dwindle through some of this spelling a couple of flashbangs over on the side of north plenty of utility still up two incendiaries two smokes and plenty to repel this big offensive as it looks to come through now these incendiaries get used to delay the play from big AZ waiting down here in connector with the AWP in hand he's been pretty beastly with the AWP today he's looking to try and continue that now 50 seconds left of big looking to try and make a play but it's Kirby the man to make the first move yeah nice pop flash that completely blinds Tizzy and he's alone on Ivy as well same story for Tabs and no Trey coming through and AZ's even locked two players down out of main there's a third man left up but AZ He's just going to find it simple as that. Four rounds for North. Only a single death as well. That is a sublime round there. Very well read as well. They knew exactly what Big was throwing into it. Now it is again pistols here for the T side. Big have to grit their teeth and take it. Yeah, I mean, you, know, you kind of say about how... You know, some things might be an, an emotional roller coaster, right? Because the up and down. This is more like... Uh, I don't even know. Why do you start just, a joke just you don't have the No, no, no I mean, no, I just mean like this has been one sudden, uh, you know, grind to a halt for Big. This hasn't been a back and forth experience. Very, very suddenly it's all turned against them. And uh, you've got to be feeling a bit like you're running into a brick wall at this point in time if you are the big boys. Still, God be at the head. I mean, here's the... Uh, the brains behind this entire operation. He's going to be trying to figure something out. This round, of course, just the eco. So a chance for them maybe to test the waters, see what north they're running. And here's Kirby emerging from his hidey hole. It's a shooting gallery. And I think after finding that first, he's now a little bit dubious as to whether or not he wants to be involved in this fight that much longer. AZ swoops in because he can't let Kirby get too far ahead here as they both try and pad uh -oh. their stats down towards Ivy. Do they both get punished for it? AZ certainly trying to fight for his life, doesn't want to give anything up, and he will stay alive. So five to five, Hugo, all tied up here on trade. What was a fantastic start for Big early on, and now sees us go all even here as we approach the last few rounds of this first half. But it's not a worry just yet. Again, 5-5 five, five is a respectable score for both sides. Big have actually done well to get that far on the T side. The question is, was it just an early start where they were rocking the economy against North, you know, the pistol with the conversions, or can they continually go back and get more rifle rounds? That's what I want to see. It's very easy to get the first few rounds, but getting rounds when North have established a pretty sick economy is going to be easier said than done for Big. They are fighting up against everything that North have. However, this time it is only that solo AWP. He has not opted for that. He's gone for the AK. Out of down, Pop Dog. That's going to force Gabe back. Smoke to keep himself in there, and they won't commit to it. Big just diving on the ladder and diving back up. Gabe, in fact, going to give up Pop Dog because he's aware of the possibility of this A main split. But for now, Bigger so focused on the B site. The B site that has two players here. I like the setup as well. If we look, we have Valdi playing close up, watching the ramp from heaven, but with his back covered by Cadian on the AWP. So pretty good setup. The problem is. Kaden misses his shots. 
and Valde can easily get overwhelmed, but in fact, he's dropped down towards the spools and dropped to his death. God B's already found the kill through the wall. AZ rotating into the orb of Smuya, and now Kadian's got to make a play because his team are falling apart around him. Smuya going to spot it, but not going to get on top of the train in time. Yeah, and that might be their way back into this retake. Hugo, you take a look at that minimap. The one thing that's not going to bode well for them is Kirby is a very long way away. And now that Gade's fallen, you can see Kirby starts to back away as well. Kadian's been left to uh, fend for himself. He's been hung out to dry here inside of this B-bomb site. Very, very far forward aside from the uh, remaining member of his squad. So, whoop, Dab's just going to fall into his crosshair, but still doesn't quite hand the kill over to Kadian. Big going to be answering back though with their sixth round in a quick change of pace. They're going to pick this one up. They even dropped that orb that was on the back of Cadian as well. And now that's where some problems could start to arise here for North. They're going to be able to get the orb out regardless, but suddenly this becomes a very, very expensive buy, especially then as well. You consider maybe they wanted to uh, try donning those double orbs once again. That's now no longer possible either. That would be actually gay. You can kind of throw one over, but instead they're just going to opt for the single orb on Cadian. And the extra utility in favor of that double orb setup. Next. Maybe bursting the same aim, but North have chosen very close positions. And that's because they're throwing in all this utility. Double nade to push nade next to 50. Molotov to try and cut off anyone at the back. And, oh, that's awkward timing. Next turns around as they peek in. And Kiebi's got to find that kill. So, blink and you miss it, AZ's found a double and bigger down in a 2v5. What has happened here? I was going to say it's Gobby and Smoo you left up, but it is now a just Gobby 1v5. This would be uh, one hell of a Gobby play. You know, he's got the brains, but does he have the brawn to support it? He's going to be able to get by the man with the AWP over on the side of North. That was Cadian he eluded the first time, and it's certainly not the second an immediate reply from North once again. Six to six. This game, Hugo, looks like it could go the distance. This could be a very, very close one indeed. As we're still right down the middle here. As we near the end of this first half, six to six, which for big over on the T side is, I guess, a victory for them right now. This is definitely, you know, the, the sort of scoreline you could say is, is a decent half for a team. Yeah, without a doubt. Problem is, it's pistols now, Harry. So not a lot of hope in this round. Big are... Uh... Only armored on two. Deagle sees these, the classic, nothing too special. Gade's getting aggressive, but doesn't want to give away a gun to Smuya. Or just reposition instead. It's Cadian down on B, and that's where Bigger looking to hit. So unlikely they'll flash their way into the box holes, but Cadian should be able to get at least one shot here and fall off off the back of that. He spots the arm, goes back in, and there's the kill. Man advantage taken. Cadian can fall back. No reason to commit to that fight. And Valdi's even dropped the player in main, leaving Smuya in the molly. And North, one by one, they're picking big to pieces. It's desperation here for God B, and he's not going to get that plant in anytime soon. Yeah, just hoping to get this bomb down and Tizzy and... He's not even in the... Oh, he's not, is he? Uh, That's a little bit awkward. He's, uh... He tried to be lost in the, smoke. in the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Not for North, the seventh round. And, you know, lack of bomb plant there, not going to be the end of the world for them. They still get, you know, pretty much everything they need. A little bit more limited in terms of utility for Smoothie and Tafson. But, uh. Still a shot here at coming back and finishing this out. In a positive manner as they scrape together this last bite. Cadian holding Ivy, looking like he might get tested. Two players down there. Ooh. Flash through for Kirby, and there we go. Captain Shaky Aim going to go to get rid of Tizian and Smuya. So uh, Kirby roaring to life here for North. Big, don't just hear, they feel the roar down towards Ivy. Ooh. Val, they're going to get tagged up in the meantime. The big boys pour his way, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that couldn't be more true as God B hits the deck. Now it's going to be Tabson and next. 2v4. Bomb on their back and this flank coming around from behind. There's two players there in the form of Kirby and Gade. Then they have to try and get past the armada that is Cadian. And he shuts them both down. North going to be securing themselves an eighth round. And they do so in an absolutely fantastic fashion. That is all down to a missed smoke there down on the B side. That smoke connected and actually allowed for them to cross towards default. They could have got a plant in. They would have had a 2v4. Definitely a doable round for big. But a missed, uh, missed smoke that actually body blocks a player. 
um, a, a means they can't cross towards the site is because he Kadian was spotting it from the top of the train, and then they just decided to try and take the fight to him instead. Which, yeah, that's a fair, that's a fair decision to make, considering you know if you try and cross, you're probably dead anyway. Unfortunately, they don't hit the shots. Kadian certainly does. Now bigger, down to nothing for the final round of the half. They've got a very limited buy, but they have got a fast play. And into the B site, taps and finds the entry. It's a one for one. And that's good enough when you have this kind of weaponry. So a bomb plant in North on a retake. And actually, not much utility for North, all things considered. It's time you tell you might not matter if they can win out these fights. As Kirby going to go to get rid of the flank. That was Smuya. Tabson doesn't stand the test of time either at AZ. Tapping down Tizian is going to go out and fall. So just dealing with a shot here. And here's next holding close. Able to find one on the back of his UMP. But all the pressure is on this man, Tizian. Was the star for them on Dust 2. Has had a fantastic couple of rounds here. Spraying through the smoke. Finally able to find Gade. And now 1v1 versus KD. And the time ticking down so low. And this will be the round going the way of big. KD and can't do anything now. As he is just at the full mercy of that bomb. It's going to be an 8 to 7 half. North just closing it out in their favor here. Heading into the second. But big able to dig deep at the very end. And find themselves that little bit extra. Seven rounds is pretty sick on the T side, but again, I have that big question mark in my head. Like, how much of that was because of the pistol in the early start, right? They get the 3-0, then they get the 5-0, and it's like, ah. Oh, sorry, it was a 5-1, wasn't it, of course? Um, you know, that's great for big, obviously. It's a sick scoreline, but in terms of actual rifle-to-rifle -rifle rounds, that was north all the way. That entire half was just north winning rifle rounds and big uh, winning the early game. So, yeah, a very good half, but they're going to need to capitalize off of it and, and make sure that they continue. They can't just be relying on these early rounds at the uh, the start of the half, if you are big, of course. Uh, certainly not a bad half with seven rounds on their T side now moving over. Yeah, that's where we stand. Split right down the middle heading into this second half. The pissed around is going to be a massive advantage to whichever one of these two teams can pick it up. I think you've had a pretty good track record at them, but then again, you look at North and how many talented USP players you have inside of this. Some of the uh, the best highlights I could think of with the USP, one of them springs to mind, is going to be AZ. Uh, I'm trying to think what event that was at. Was that a Dreamhack? Was it that was a Dreamhack. CT, I think CT. it was Montreal, maybe. Or, no, Valencia, that was it. Was Dreamhack there, I Valencia. I think he I was, was in CT Sport. Was in CT oh, Sport my March, goodness. Yeah. yeah, that was such a fantastic play from him. Who casted so, yeah. that? Was that? That was me and, me, and, me and Neil's top. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty crazy, Ace. Hmm. Definitely some talented individuals on this North roster. And hey, they're showing up on big as well. It's not just the Danes who are, who are finding success here. I mean, Tizian had a great first half with a lot of kills. A lot of opening kills. And uh, and Smoother as well, hitting his shots at the AWP. is always nice, but see, we're going to need a little bit more as we move yeah, into that I, second I want, I want to see more of these orbs. I want to see the orbs playing into this even more. You know, you got Smoother in the server. You've got Katie and AZ. I mean, you know, Hilarious has been looking really good with the orb. Uh, you know, I think maybe even outclassing Katie in a little bit whenever we've seen him actually don it. He's had a couple of these fantastic moments. But... Uh, you know, I think, you know, the reason why you're seeing Kadian take I feel like Kadian's the more consistent one out of the two of them. Like, he consistently hits, you know, the shots you need him to hit, whereas mm -hmm. AZ just has, like, these moments where he channels his inner... I don't even know. In it's just demon. his inner beast, mate. You know, like, that's it. You know, just raw animal form. It's not even... He's not imitating anyone. He's his own being, is AZ. And it's not easy being AZ. He'll tell you that. We're almost ready to head into this one, though, Hugo. And, uh, you know, you, uh, you predicted a one-to-one -one split here between Big and North. Yeah. You still going to be sticking on that heading into the second half, or do North have you breaking a bit of a sweat? Uh, I'm not going to say it. I'm I'm super. Uh, no, no, I'm I'm going to stick with big. I'm going to stick with big. I, I mean, North are definitely putting up a fight here. This isn't going to be a stomp by any means for either side. But yeah, you know, I believe in big seven rounds. T side is pretty sick, and I believe this uh, this team can can you know go the distance. Yeah, Let's I mean, find out. Taking a look at the odds as well, they kind of just agree with you, right? It's a yeah. very even split right down the middle. People leaning slightly more towards North, though. Interesting to note. They've got more rounds. That is true. And uh, rounds win games. Here's Smooya. Oh. My uh, voice cracks a little bit more than his skull does as he gets dropped early on. And now Tabson answers back with another. Second kill of this round. Tabson hasn't had the most explosive of games, but we know that he certainly can. And here we go in this pistol round. The hat trick from him. Big going to be going 8 to 8. As uh, they feel this game has already gone on at too late. They want to try and get this mopped up here and now. And a shot at reaching. That 10 to 8 scoreline before North get a buy if they can convert these rounds. I mean, Tabs in second on the scoreboard for his team. Definitely, uh, definitely going to pull it back after that pistol round. North of the solo scout. 
four pistols, nothing too special. Bigger you're actually going for a heavy SMG buy. This is fairly uncommon on train. There are a lot of positions where they're very useful, such as Ivy. That's certainly going to work, but this, uh, this could be a problem when it comes into the rifle rounds if big keep a lot of players surviving, of course, because that means that they're likely not going to be upgrading these guns. But let's see. That's, uh, that's a bit of a while in the future. For now, North still have one more eco to bite onto. Big's chance to make even more money, if you can believe it. But then when North have guns, the question is, do Big commit to these SMGs or do they buy up rifles instead? I'd like to see an AWP alongside these SMGs. I like that buy. Especially on the CT side. I feel like T side, not as much. Oop. That was a nice little, uh, this, yeah. nice little smooth save that we didn't get to see it populated with North players. Uh, uh, adopting a new strat here. The, the Danes do this. They, they huddle together for warmth. It's pretty harsh winters out here in Denmark. Pretty harsh weather a lot of the time, actually. Summer gets uh, unnaturally hot. But uh, this is commonplace here. Huddling together. All in the dumpster. Yeah, I mean, the location. They just they have to do it wherever, man. You, you, you can't pick and choose. Beggars can't be choosers. And North know this. They're having a bit of a time to chat. A bit of a time to get to know one another. Not Kirby. Yeah, he's had enough of this. Back turned. Uninterested. This is the uh, the Dane mating ritual, of course. They're making the next latest and greatest players. And they're going to go ahead and... Now we get to see the Smooth come in. Sadly, waiting this long has meant that Smooth has gone ahead and taken control of Ivy. And now this whole little hiding spot for the Danes has been discovered. And everyone's going to be falling one by one. It's just KD and left alive. Will be the round going the way of Big. They convert everything. It was only Glocks anyway. So that is all gravy. Here you go. Right, let's see what they do. Yes, they've done it. Big have gone for the AWP. They've even bought up uh, an M4. That wasn't bought up. That was uh, from the previous round. So three SMGs, an M4, and an AWP versus a full buy. This is sick. I like this buy. This is this is my favorite way to approach uh, bonus rounds. Put an AWP in there. Of course, it's very costly if you lose this, but if you pick it up, you've got a lot of rifles to play alongside that AWP. North, look at the pace. Very fast outside this B site for AZ. It's a push up from the pop dog, but that Molotov is so sick. Tabson even takes a kill as it fades away on Gade. Valdi going to go down to the Orb of Smuya, but Kievi lines up too. He can't convert either kill. Smuya with a second frag of the round. And right now, North are getting decimated on this A site. Yeah, that bomb as well. It's got ahead and dropped out in the open. You can see Kadian fumbling about in the smoke. Desperate that maybe he gets close enough, but it has just eluded them. And now it's firmly in the moors of Big. Smooya sitting back with rage with this one AWP that they bought forward alongside these SMGs. Tabson deletes Azia. Now it's Kadian. One versus five. And well, he does have a lot to prove. This is not the round to get any of that proving done. It will be Big up 11 to eight. As in this second half, on their CT side, they've looked triumphant throughout. North going to be back onto an eco here. Heads hang low. As they just have to go ahead and take one on the chin in this round. Well, bigger giving it to them right now. 12 rounds on the horizon here, assuming this goes as planned. With no head armor for North as well. This SMG from Tizian is going to be lethal. No M4s to worry about. North stacked out Ivy. We have this smoke on Valdi as well, so he can definitely throw that deep and allow for them to cross towards either the left or right side. Jump across, smoke from the right side. That will bounce. Let's go smoke off got B. Smooth is now going to be a little bit more worried. Gonna flash through. Oh, God, B's gonna get timed. He's got the nade out. Changes to the gun. Somehow gets three. Oh, my God. God, B giving them the Frankfurt, the big old German sausage. Nothing North can do about that. I, yeah, I mean, what a, what a fantastic play. And also, you know, just. You did say Frankfurt, right? You didn't mean Frankfurt. Uh, That's what I said. Yeah, okay. I thought you just said Frankfurt is in the city. I was like. Hang on a minute. The city We've, sausage. Uh, yeah, giving them the city, you know. Frankfurt is my city. Uh, here's big up 12 to 8. I don't know how I don't know how Gumby survives that, though, in all seriousness. Yeah. He drops the nade. They had then... CZs as well. That wasn't a Glock round. Well, I mean, that there is just destruction. If you ever did see it, 
Gobby lighting up the scoreboard, but Hugo, here's the bike from North. KD is going to be on his AWP, and he doesn't have any utility to go behind it, just rifles for the rest of the gang. Smuya still donning the AWP here for Big. Tizzy even still repping the MP9. He's got $12,000 and doesn't have a care in the world, Hugo. And I don't think you need to when you're up 12 to 8. You've got four rounds to play around with. North definitely feeling the pressure now as uh, this reset is looming over them once again. I mean, they are going to be on the uh, T side, so it's a lot less harsh. You know, you can afford to kind of roll with the punches a bit, take a couple of partial buys if you don't manage to get the bomb down. But uh, they're going for the B bomb site play, and this is a pretty good one to at least guarantee you get yourself that plant and lock in a buy in the next round. Well, you say guarantee, but look at that rotate from Big. They've just drawn two more players over to this site. There's no guarantee anymore. Big have a stacked B site, and if North just run into this one, it could be another massacre. Yeah, no, you're bang on, mate. There's no guarantee. They voided their warranty. It's all gone out the window here as they're about to hit this B bomb site. And what lies within the terrifying truth that they're about to uncover? All these players here for bigger third man rotating around to try and join the rest of the ranks. It's Tizian and Tabson to try and hold back the coming tide of Danes. And Tabson still here, still trying to hold his own. Will get toppled by Gade and Kirby. Ooh. Kirby gonna manage one more. So the bomb goes down, and now it's just Smuya. And next left up in this retake. They have to try and contend there with an aggressive Kirby, and he's got a noticed. He's shut down oh. everybody in this round. And there's North locking in a ninth on the back of a fast play from Kirby. Well, I don't think the money's going to be a problem for Big. Those are the first deaths they've had all half, apart from Smuya. We do still have that AWP on the man himself. Fully equipped North, though. Finally going to be back in with a big buy. So at least not, you know, thrown out of this map before they even had a chance to compete. Okay, looking towards Pop Dog. Nexus on the other side as well. Flash could allow him to drop right in if he wants to go for it. Okay, going to walk right through. And sorry, Nex going to walk right through to his death. Gade handing out a decapitation like it's nothing. But they send a bit of a tickle back his way. Stout tickle is hardly a uh, appropriate response to the uh, the death of your teammate. An advantage up for North, and they're setting up for the A play players down towards Ivy and Ellie. They look to try and split out through Pop Dog as well, perhaps. But Gobby does reside here. And this could be the X Factor. I mean, we just saw Nex fall in this same position. Smooth is going to get caught out. And that there, that is a massive blunder. He's gone out and fallen. That's opened up a way in for North, in through Ivy. Tabson on the bomb train. Players wrapping all around. And there's no way he survives this. He's completely surrounded. Down and out for the count. It all falls onto Tizzy. And in a 1v5, desperate to try and keep the dream alive of a quick finish here for Big. It doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. The bomb goes down. And look at this, North. They're swarming around him. I mean... Don't have lions or pack animals. I think they might be. Who, who really knows, mate? Who knows about nature? But uh, they're going to be hunting down Tizian regardless. A murder of lions, Harry. What's the big logo? Is that a, like a paw print of a bear? Is it, is it bears versus lions? Who would win in a fight between a bear and a lion? I, I, I... Like a big black bear versus... Wait, no. Aren't, aren't brown bears dangerous or a black bears dangerous? One of them's really dangerous. One of them's all right. Yeah, I actually, I actually don't. I, I haven't been brushing up on my bear knowledge. Okay, well, who would win in a fight, bear or a lion? Bear or a lion. This is an interesting debate. You know, be sure to uh, to get at us on various yeah, social media. Who would win, use bear the or a lion? I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. side with uh, with a bear, dude. They're pretty. Yeah, right. That's they're pretty think, uh, yeah. tanky looking creatures. I don't know. Leonardo DiCaprio survived a bear fight. That is true, but then he also survived like years of of uh, you know. Let's say, like, uh, not so legal living if you want to get like the Wolf of Wall Street storyline. So he's a pretty tanky guy as well. Uh, here we go, anyway. In this round, Hugo, North. That they, uh, <laughs> they've uh, got ahead and got Gade over here towards B. Tizian has been spotted, has been tickled down to 68 HP, and that's enough for him to go ahead and wean off the angle, start to fall back. He is alone for now, but him getting, uh, you know. Tagged on down has prompted the rotation of Tabson over here inside of B. 
North not dedicated to a side just yet. They've got a minute left. The ball's in their court. There's plenty of time for them to play with here. And you can see Big desperate to try and find some answers, get some information back and try and figure out what these Danes are doing. It was Gobby who was going to try and get a peek done and now Ops against it. I was just checking to see if North held deep IV control. They do not. But they saw the nade from the T-spawn. Baldo was watching it, so... At least aware that Big could be pushed down Ivy, and that's why we're seeing a player walk into the B side here. He's trying to put up the pressure. Molotov to the site. Kiebi going to walk out Olaf as well. And there's Smoothie with the AWP doing what needs to be done, shutting down Kadian. The counter all going down. Kiebi with a big entry, but look at the damage done in terms of health. Valdi's still tagged up, and Gade's only half HP, but they do have the man advantage to play with. Still going to commit towards this A site as Tabs and locks down a second kill. Nine seconds left up. That's a bomb drop. That's a team kill from Next, but he's still going to win the round. Style. I mean, if, if there was a way to do it right, you know, you just kill everyone. Yeah. How about that? That's a, that's a real next-gen play. But, uh, so yeah, 13th round for Big. This is looking good for the for the Germans. Sizable lead, north of one more buy, really. If North lose this round, it's Big probably 14 up against a force buy with, you know, a high loss bonus, but that's about uh. it for North. But then you kind of take a look at the big economy. Theirs isn't too great either. They're, they're lying on the doors of a reset here. They're using their nades creatively to try and force Gade forward, but no one in position to actually deal with him. And already the opener found it's smoother to hit the deck. Tabs and answers back as best he can, but no, Kirby, Kirby wow. sneaking on in. They've got no idea, and Kirby's torn this whole round apart next. Suddenly left to try and fight for his life, and it's just not happening. Tizian now in a 1v4. And one by one, the big boys are picked apart by Kirby in the back line. North hadn't even brought the bomb. It was still in spawn. They were just going for frags that round, Harry, and that worked wonderfully. 13 to 11, just as I curse big, saying it's starting to look good for them. And now North are back in, putting them on pistols. As you say, the economy of big was low. And in fact, we don't have a loss bonus for them. So, you know, this will only be their second round loss bonus. That's not enough to pull in those AWPs. I mean, Tizian has spare money, so he'll be able to get it in, but only one. I'll be fine. Tizian spotting towards B. It's looking like North are just going for the quick execute. They know that Big don't have a lot to play with after that hard reset. And AZ just opening up. Easy as that. Two kills from him. Gade's even found another. And Smooth is all that stands here for Big. North are running wild. This is pretty much now the most important round of the match. <laughs> if big buy, yes. Yeah, they're going to be going for the buy. And uh, you know what? You go, this is going to be an interesting junk show as this pause comes on in. It's technical, which is never as fun, but uh, still gives us some time to reflect on the events that have been this matchup that we see before us 13 to 12. And you and I, you know, we were questioning is it going to be a matchup of, of bears v lions? Or what if I told you there's a third animal entering the fray that we need to talk about? And it's not just any ordinary animal, it's the Rat King. I'm, of course, talking about Smooya. You know, he's going to have that open hand heading into this round. Hugo, you say this is one of the most important rounds, and Smooya's been known to step up in these important moments. So uh, he's kind of been the first man to fall in the last couple for Big. Having this sort back out, having him take it with him into round 26, I think we need to see some magic, some Smooya magic keep big in this and keep themselves in that lead well let's find out harry in for a penny in for a pound and big gone in huge with the buy it's a ump an awp three rifles but i mean tizian doesn't even have armor with his m4 which is a, a slight mistake there that's not going to be fun to play with one bullet and his aim is going to be skew with haywire in fact, Big are taking a slight risk by running a solo B play in this round, so they're going to draw next over there. Smooya, massively important kill, taking down Kievi, who's been having a fantastic game as well on this T side especially. Tabs and close up on main. North is still going to walk out, but Gabe might get blindsided. His barrel sticks away, gives away his position, but he still gets a frag to Tabs and walking in deeper to the site as well. God B waits on the train, but he just jumps up, just misses the angle as Gade sneaks round through the smoke. He's going to be behind two opposition. This could be massive. There's one. Gobby now knows where he is. And still Gade gets him. North are surely going to win this round. But the bomb, it's all under control of Smooya. Yeah, Smooya is sat on it right now. And he's feeling comfortable here for the time being. Tizian wrapping round as well. Catches Gade unaware. 
As the uh, hunter becomes the hunted, Tizian on this bomb site oh. doing the damage. Missed shot from Kadia. Now it falls to the 1v1. And the bomb down over in Ivy. It's AZ versus Smuya. Man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't even get to build that one up because AZ is very, very fast on the trigger. Wants to try and get the round over and done with fast as he can. It's going to be 13 13, all tied up now. You just don't beat AZ in a clutch, Harry. And I mean, this is the issue, right? This is exactly what you were speaking about, why this round was so important. Because now North, in with a shot of taking the lead, they're going to move up 14 to 13. And even then, I mean, the money for big in the next round isn't going to be ideal. You're not going to have all the bells and whistles of a buy you would want at this juncture in the game. This is the first time North will be in the lead if they win this round since the halftime. And 8-7, it was for North after their CT side. And now they might just be taking the lead and with that, a potential victory on the horizon. Of course, Big is still going to have a bye next round, but if they could clinch anything here, that would make things easier. Yeah, we already into the site and they all line up for him. Easy as that, two kills. Valdi's going to find the third and, and within seconds, the round's done. So North not having problems with the pistols are big, but this is, uh, this is where the real things start happening, Harry. No longer pistols, we're into guns. AWP for Smuya, armorless. Weapons on everyone else. The chance for Big to bounce back. But, I mean, this wouldn't even be a reset as well. North now have money for the rest of the game. That's that's a, no longer a factor. Even if Big win this round, they need to keep players alive. They can't win in a 1v1 because then they'll have to you know, be rebuying SMGs and they'll be at 14-14. So right now, I mean, on paper, this is going to be an extremely difficult game to win if you're Big. Money yeah, and everything. I mean, yeah, definitely, right? And... and for North, they're very much in that driver's seat. They have the they have the, the monetary uh, position over big. They have that extra round buffer as well, which is just going to feel, uh, you know, so suddenly you have that ability to make a mistake and it not be the very end, whereas big, they don't have that luxury. You know, time is ticking down for them now. As we head into uh, round 28, 14 to 13 is the scoreline. Been a monumental comeback for North to actually go ahead and take oh. the lead. And there's Kirby opening things up in this round. It's next to fall. And what a scout to find as well. He had a very, very good first half. Kind of fell a little bit quiet here in the second. Tizian, about to be tested inside of B, is only good for one. So man advantage up for North. The bomb goes down here. Three versus four. And this is where if you're big, it's going to be in your head yeah. that you're probably going to have to back away and save. And that looks to be the case. They know that, you know, if they go for this retake and they lose everyone, they're, they're you know, they're forced by, you have a couple of pistols with armor into, you know, what could be the last round of this matchup. Yeah, the game's over if they if they lose these guns. We've already seen how little success Bigger found on the eco rounds and the force by rounds, etc. on the CT side. I mean, look at the, the round two rounds ago where North just run out A and get five kills within 10 seconds and, and don't even lose a player. So, yeah, Big need these guns and North should be hunting. They should be sending every player out now to search for these final few players. They've got all the money to work with, as we've already talked about. Seven, eight thousand dollars per player. And they've finally worked out exactly where Big is sitting. But there's no time to chase them down. The bomb's gone. The round's over. And Big will hold on to all three weapons for the 29th. Yeah, they're very, very lucky that... Big are able to disappear without a trace. Hold on to those three weapons because now they've gone for a buy here. Oh, we're going to be out on Smuya. They have that at least to fall back on North. Very much the guys in the driving seat right now. Cadian over here towards Main. Going to be joining up with Kirby. Looking to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Smuya. This has been... An intense back and forth. The first man goes out. That's Kirby. Now the trade attempts to come through from Kadia, but a missed shot down range. It's actually going to be easy in the meantime to go and find an equalizer, but he's instantly dispatched of by Tizian. It's a big. Still looking like they want to try and claw their way back in to this match. Take us through to an overtime here on trade. Cade straight back with the return and now into the 3 on 3 SP bomb site. Looking open for business. It's Smuya rotating in to try and keep them at bay. And the Molotov, that might force Valdi off the bomb. He's got to move. They've got the time to play with, but he's left in the clutch in the 1v2. Smuya spotted him. And Valdi's going to move down the oil train, trying to slick his way behind the enemy uh, enemy lines. Big doubled up here in the spawn, and gobby has got the angle. That will be the round. Big 14 here on the CT side. One away from pulling this to overtime, Harry. And the money's still good for North. Again, that's not been a problem for them just yet. And overtime on the horizon, this is a very uh, a very likely possibility here. 
Again, for those unaware how the points work in Pro League, if you win a game in regulation, you get three points. If you lose a game, you get none. If you win an OT, you get two, while the loser gets one. So it's really important the North actually take this victory pre-overtime if they want to get the most, uh, the most points that they can out of this game. And that's got to be here. That's got to be right now in the 30th round. Pause underway. No expense spared in the final round of regulation. Everyone got the money to fully buy up. And what the North have up their sleeve? Well, they're going to need a lot. I mean, for these North guys, it's been uh, pretty hard for come back to get them to this position. You know, they were the uh, they were the ones kind of staring down the barrel of defeat here on trade, and now they're very much on this finish line. They need one more round. That could just be one ridiculous play. That could be all it takes. You just need you know one more three K from Kiobi, one more fantastic performance from Asia, or a couple of openers from KD, and we just need something to go right here for North if they want to close out. And big, the pressure's very much on now. They've. Uh, now to get it back to the situation where we could see overtime, the run boost for Cadian. As once again, almost by chance, him and Smuya lay a line and they're going to be locked in this standoff here. Who comes out on top? Smuya has been very good at winning this early duel down Ivy. Usually taking a far more wider angle. But this time he's going to be smoked off and mollied on the other side. That will completely force him back. He cannot peek in. He actually gets aggressive here behind his own Molotov be careful you may reconsider the smoke goes down that will delay any kind of push up from north and there we go smooth fades off doesn't need to commit to that fight far too risky especially with three players of north on the other side including that awp got to flash his way back in but only just pre firing through the smoke not taking any fight 40 seconds left now for north they've got to start to decide where they want to commit because at this point if they don't pr bring the bomb back down through t-spawn now it's got to be this ivy play it's looking like the a split we've got a man in pop a man in main and three coming down ivy Cade leading the charge smooth yet the man to open up desperately trying to claw big through to overtime here and there's God B chiming in with another the bomb dropped and suddenly all eyes on AZ 1v5 and he's gonna go and get dealt with as well 15 15 overtime here on train and we could not be happier as uh, we get to see some more fantastic CS from these two teams on your screen right now a little bit more UK CS to fill your evening mm. Hugo yeah, what could you ask for I'm, I'm loving it right now we, we've even got complexity in the NA Pro League as well that'll be coming up later I'm, I'm not sure if they're playing tonight but uh, they are at least in the in the league so we got both Def and Smoothie being represented here that's always nice and Smoothie is looking very strong as well this game he's uh, top fragging on the CT side so far we head it into overtime here. So no longer the three points up for grabs, but there's still some chances of, uh, of grabbing some riches if you are big or north here. Again, this is only the first map of a two-map series, Harry, so that's the most exciting part. We've got a lot more Counter-Strike for you guys coming up. Not just here on train, but also on overpass to follow up the second map of these two separate best of ones here for the EPL Season 8. And we are on the first broadcast day as well, so this is, uh, this is all kicking off here on some online CS on Facebook. I mean, Hugo, this is, uh, this is, I mean, we're all saying this is going to be a close matchup regardless, yeah. and it's certainly proven to be exactly that. Now, let's not forget, it was a, 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 a half that North narrowly were able to win out. I think they finished 8-7, but then Big winning the pistol, winning the next few rounds, able to go ahead and pull that all the way up to 13 rounds to their name, and then suddenly North slam themselves back into gear, take that 15-13 scoreline, or actually the team to arrive at map point first. Now Big have pulled us back to this overtime. That's the road to which led us to this situation we find ourselves in right now. And there's a few minutes here for the players just to have some time to, to mull things over. You can bet God B during this, uh, this time period going to be giving some orders to the rest of the squad, trying to figure things out. Same with Cadian. He's got a lot to prove as well. You know, coming into this, replacing MSL. So not going to be the, uh, the easiest shoes to fill. We are heading right back in, Harry. So again, guys, those watching at home right now, who do you think is going to win? Be sure to use the hashtag ESL Pro League or at ESLCS on Twitter if you would like to get involved. Let us know who you think is going to take this victory here in this map. We are going into overtime now. Big sticking on the CT side, North on the T side. It's been very back and forth affair. We've got the full buy-in, double up instantly into the CT side. It is 16k MR3. 
means these rounds are going to be fast and, uh, and scrappy, you'd imagine. North over on this T side, and Cadian with his orb, his eagle eye looking Ooh. down towards Ivy, taps and even spots out AZ over here towards the halls, and AZ just lurking around. Denies taps in any forward position, any information for free just by making his presence known. All right, AZ. Ooh. Hello. I ain't saying anything. Fine, if you want to do, if you want to do that, that's, uh, that's fine. I mean, what, next. What, was he just off, or does that not land? Because that looked very, very close to being on the player. Maybe centimeters away from the head. Either way, North are going for this A player. They've actually spotted next down in this pop dog. He's going to get one before he goes down, but Gates still found an opening kill, and Tizian drops the bomb in the meantime. Kadian up top. Smooth is already dropping more players of North. Tizian will take down the T. Orpa leaving just the Clutch King himself. He's won these before. Will he win them again? Taps into the connector, and he will get the better of him. Big 16 rounds to 15. The first of OT goes to them. Yeah, big picking up that first round, and pretty cleanly as well. I mean, yeah, next being, uh, for me, one of the more impressive people there is, you know, in that pop dog position, he's still able to get one kill despite being pincered in from both sides. That's really a lot more than he should have been allowed to get away with, and Tizian as well, with that hold down towards May. No one able to... What? Okay. That was dead I on. swear that should have lived yeah. up, but... Uh, Katie has been cheated out of a, you know, cheated out of some damage there, perhaps, you know. Well, then again, wallbangs are very odd. Like, you know, they, they look like they're spot on, and then they're not, Hugo. That's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Two rounds in a row. It does feel unfortunate here for North. Just millimeters, you know, one or two pixels Ooh. extra. Now they've missed a smoke as well. What's going on? These, these pixel adjustments really... Uh, Punishing North, Easy's gone aggressive in towards Pop Dog, trying to vent his frustrations onto Nex, and Nex is certainly uh, not the sort of therapist he was looking for. He's going to go to put him down. And advantage still up in favor of Big and Tabson. Now with an AWP of his own, deleting players left and right. It's just Kadian and Kirby left alive. How can they possibly do? Tizian's already backed down Ivy, taking down Kirby, and that just leaves the AWP already scoped in on the wrong part. He walks forward, he's dead. And, uh, oh, somehow getting a second chance of life. He's uh, not going to get a third, though. Next will finish him off, and big. They keep three alive. Not that that matters at this point. You win one round in OT, and instantly your money worries are pretty much out the window. Now we're going into the third round of the half. If big can find this flawlessly, Harry, I mean, both these teams have had great T side so far on this map. If, if big can take a flawless CT side, I'm considering this very, very difficult and maybe even done for North, but... Let's not count them out. It is overtime. Anyone can get three rounds in a row. Yeah, but this is where you certainly have to start to lean the way of Big, not just because of the round advantage, but because, you know, Big at the helm right now. You have God B, a man who's been, you know, with the majority of these players so much, knows them so well, so much experience. And then on the flip side, Kadian, you know, they're kind of like a, a brand new IGL in that sense, not only for this squad, but e even him as, as, as a player, right? It was never his, uh, something that he, like, did much originally. Not till Rogue, anyway. So, uh... This is where maybe a few cracks start to show in this in this North offensive. They've already lost two rounds, potentially going to be a flawless half from big, at which point, yeah, it does feel like it would be a bit of an impossible mission to get back into this. Regardless. Initially, there was some contact down towards Ivy. Now they're going to start to back away. Looking to rendezvous outside of B. Might just try and keep things fast and simple here in the last round of this first half of overtime. For this close position from Tabson. This is going to be well timed. Flashbang better. AZ's going to get the better of Tabson. There's the first kill coming through for North. Tizian's still close, but now he's got to worry about the ramp, not Heaven, because the smoke is down. The Molotov in response will hold North back, but that smoke is still going to outlast the flames, meaning North can eventually push. Tizian's going to fall back, and Smoo will miss the dropping shot into the player falling down by oil. These frags are coming through for North heavily, and this is the round they needed. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking pretty good from North. I'll be honest with you, next left to 1v4. It's just not happening for him, Hugo. And that's going to be a 16th round scavenge at the very end for North. Regardless, Big still fielding a pretty significant advantage here heading into this second half. Especially when you consider it was a strong T side from them initially. 17 to 16 is the scoreline right now. With Big finding the first two in overtime, North just picking up that round there. To give themselves a fighting chance here. 
Is this man on your screen, Tizian? Not normally someone who we would speak about in this roster as being a, a mad fragger. Here's the, here's the lineup, by the way. Ooh, ooh. I mean, that to that, me... Yeah, that's a leg, right? That to me looks like... Uh, maybe... Maybe it's... Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it went through the side of a train because he was a little bit to the left. Yeah, right? yeah, I, maybe I don't that's... actually know the, spe like, the intricacies of that wallbang. Maybe you have to hit a headshot. I don't know. No, that wouldn't really make sense. Yeah, yeah. Just I mean, do you know, it's I all good. Know, then. Yeah, I'm, that I'm sure that... A little bit off either way. Yeah. Regardless, you go. Here we go. 17 to 16. 19 is the magic number we're looking for, by the way, for those of you just joining us. As uh, one of these teams wants to be picking up this first map in overtime here. Oh, so there is still a second one yet to come. So here with this off outside of B. Okay. It's going to be here. These two have a very uh, precious bond between the two of them. And then I look to try and put that to good use as this Brotherhood pushes in towards the B-bomb site. Now there on the oil train. Going to find himself the first. Tizian's able to trade. And now this bomb goes down. Rotation's coming in thick and fast from north, but couldn't be fast enough. And uh, that bomb's gone down. Now things look to go south here for this north squad. Yeah, the low HP might come back to haunt big, but they've got a few more nays, and they need to get them out pretty quickly before they pull their guns back in their hands as North start to encroach on their position. Tizian, another kill coming through. This is going to be huge for big in keeping in this round. North starting to reconsider their options into this one. Already climbing up towards heaven. That's going to be AZ, but he still gets the kill. Smooya dropping KD in the meantime, and Gabe gets up close and personal as well. Big, they've got to be very careful, but Smooya with a big no-scope, and Eurin tries to follow up. It's the fall, it's the pistol out, and it's the round for Big. Three kills from Smooya. Fantastic work on that post plant. But he didn't go for the knife. He had it. No, right I, re I respect it. What if, what if Gabe got off the bomb? Yeah, Just playing it safe. It. It's overtime. You don't want to lose the game. Yeah, it's don't be fair as well. Like, that would be... I think a lot of people would, uh, would you know, take, take the sphere pretty hard for going for a knife and then dying as a result. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, here we go. The funny part I know, was he, I know he's it. He pulled like... out the knife first, and then he went back to the pistol. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the best part. It's like, no, I won't do it. Consciously. It's almost like you saw his inner God B talking to him. Like, yeah. come on, son. I've told you. Now, God B would have gone for that knife. Yeah, God B is a pretty ballsy guy. But, uh... Still one round now, Hugo. All the big need to get this all finished up. Tabson lining up the utility along with God B here. Looking like it's going to be the A play. They flash themselves down into Pop Dog. That's not enough to deter AZ from this position. So many players here. And AZ dares to flash. It's picture perfect as God B finds the opener here. Man advantage now on the cards and what a man to find as well you get rid of AZ he's been so cool in those clutch situations time and time again you've eliminated that kind of X factor who could have uh, could have popped off in this round and now it's gonna be the rest of the guys to try and hold it all together Valdi is close though is Gay gonna be flashing him into this position that's very possible there it is Big, just avoiding that spot at the right time. That's going to actually give misinformation for North. But this flank from Kiebi confirms the fact that Big are outside of this B site. He started to run now, starting to put his running shoes on because Big are making it very clear which site they're committing to. Kadian scoped in, going to drop God B coming in through the ramp and he can't follow up, but it will be Valdi in the back of the site to do the damage instead. There's even a third player here to make matters worse and Gay's going to be firing off shots into the face of Tizian. It's only Smuya and he's just got no time, but he does have the flick to Kiebi on the flank. 14 seconds left up. Surely this is undoable. He spots Gade in the middle of the site. He even finds a third player as well. There's another no scope. Smooth can win this round on his own, but Kadian's going to finish him off. Close as you can get, but not quite close enough. It will be North finding 17. Double OT, Harry, on the horizon. Yeah, I mean, most certainly is. My goodness, Smooth, you know, getting us a little bit excited there, Hugo, dare I say it. Uh, he uh, definitely started to feel something there in that 1v3. You start to believe he's got 26 kills. Tizian is all on 27. It is a monumental effort from those two right now on this big roster. North, one round away from carrying us through to a second overtime, though. The more the merrier at this point. And well, Kadian. Gonna be lying away down towards Ivy. Looking to try and take the belt to him. This setup is so scary. To try and help him out. Sorry about that, Hugo. Nah, that's no worry. 
Only we need to work on our synergy as uh, Kadian and Kirby have theirs built up. Oh, I like that smoke as well. Kirby throws it behind him and he can actually peek forward. And if anyone was close for big, they would assume that this spot was clear. Unfortunately for him, they've already backed off. Sending passive in the T-spawn. However, again, Kirby's flank is so important because even if they go for this a play, he can flank up through T-con and try and kill these players. Instead, Gade's the one doing exactly that. He's dropped next trying to come out of this connector, of this uh, uh, a main, sorry, and Tizian's going to be doing the damage for the T side. Unfortunately so, Big is still down a man. 40 seconds left up, and they are covered over the site, as are the Molotovs. Tabson hiding close. Valdi just going to look above him. He has no idea. Takes down his teammate. Tabson pops out with a headshot, and he even doubles up. It's Smoother instead with the AWP. 2v2 now, and 30 seconds left on that clock. Bomb on the back of Smoother. Missed shot as Kirby and Kadian do manage to keep north in this 18 to 18. We're heading on through to a second overtime here in uh, our second to last map of the evening. And well, look at this man, Gade. Very, very good at overstaying his welcome there. Runs through his own site, catches them unawares. And now uh, we get poised and ready to go ahead and see that much more. Magic number we're going to be looking at for now is 22. Now a big starting off on the T side this time, their initial starting point. Managed to get seven rounds out of a possible 15, which is very good for those unaware. This is a fairly city side of map, and especially when you have all the money to work with, right, on the side of North, and you've got the option for the double AWP as well. We saw AZ earlier on up against Heroic actually have some really sick rounds on that secondary AWP. So that's always a worry if you're big here. Money is going to be the main factor. And in overtime, Harry, you have plenty of it. Unlimited, in fact, almost. $16,000 for just three rounds. Well, I mean, right now, it is uh, still all to play for. Still anyone's game. Let's not forget as well that... Uh, we still have one fantastic match to come up after this between these yeah. two teams. I mean, you know, I, I've very much enjoyed seeing how they pitch, how they go head to head. Especially when you kind of consider the situations for the team. I think, you know, with this North squad, firepower wise, there's a lot of firepower mm. on this roster, right? When you look at it as like a five man unit, but then you have that new leadership Acadian, and that's maybe the thing that could throw some, some spanners and work some vulnerabilities for a mind like God B to go ahead and try and, you know, tap into. And, and while it does that, I mean, this was mentioned earlier by the desk, but. You know, not only can it be a, a, a negative for North in the sense of, okay, maybe they, they haven't had time to gel very well with Cadian, but it's also a positive for North in the sense that Bigger are a very anti-strat heavy team. They like to know their opponents and research and see their tendencies and work out how to counter certain setups. But we don't know how North are going to, or, or at least Big don't know coming into this game, how North are going to approach this because they haven't had time to gel with Cadian. This is a new IGL that completely uproots uh, however you're playing. Even if you keep the same spots, for example, you're, you're still going to play differently, especially on that T side. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a factor that, that God B and the rest of Big have got to be prepared for. They don't exactly know how North are going to uh, approach these rounds. So... That's, uh, that's probably why we have such a close game on our hands. You know, really sick firepower rounds where lots of people are showing off their individual talent, but also some well-read and well-called rounds from both sides. And in fact, Kadian, I mean, he, you know, we're only, we're only on a third North game of the night, but he's been fitting in fairly well, I think. He's been, you know, coming up with big impact frags. It seems like the team cohesion is good. I mean, at the moment, we're early days, but it's looking good for North. Yeah, I mean, this has certainly uh, been a good debut from them. There's no denying that fact. And while that timer at the top of the screen, you can see it. It's counting down. As we say, 22 is the magic number we're looking for here in this double overtime game. We are just soaking up these overtimes like a sponge. And I couldn't be happier, Hugo. I could not be happier. We've got... Uh, Big over on at this T side. The AWP going to be out on Smoothie for uh, for North. Double AWP set up between AZ and Kadian. And this has been fantastic for them. Money was their real problem at bringing that out. And as you were kind of highlighting, that's not an issue at all in, uh, in overtime. It can be. If you go ahead and lose these first two rounds, you can be left having the eco in that third round of overtime, which is pretty, pretty devastating. But look at this from North. This is a change. They've gone ahead... 
Santa Man aggressive in towards me. Now Nex is here keeping an eye on it. It's Nex v Gator standoff for the time being. The winner of this is going to be sporting a significant advantage. That's an ouch to Tabson. Tag down heavy with a nade over the B site. Yeah, B, he's going to have a whole ruckus down Ivy in a second because three players on the other side of that smoke ready to burst on through. They get flashed in, but Smoothie is still going to hit the shot. AZ trying to defend it from the site as well, but here's the push from Gay. That's so well timed. Wow, he really waited until the perfect moment, and two kills come off the back of it as well, leaving just a couple of members of Big standing. Make that just one. AZ's dropped another man, and it is just the AWP player, Smoothie, in a 1v3. Needs the ace to win this round. It's being flanked, but Kadian's given up on that endeavor. He's not going to commit to the full wrap round. Smoothie has got to walk into the site instead because they know he only has 20 seconds left up. 30 points of health as well. There is not. This is not looking good for Mr. Owen. Yeah, he's uh, trying to channel his inner Chris J. But uh, it's just not happening. At 1v3, Kadian got to get rid of it. That won't be here, but put to bed. 19 to 18. North winning out the first round of the second overtime. Big going to be buying down once again. The AWP out on Smoothie Rifles for everybody else. And this is going to be good for North as well, because now they kind of dodge that reset. They keep that round pretty clean. They keep both the AWPs up. Heading into round number three, they go ahead and lose this. They can still feel the decent buy in the next year and have that horrible overtime eco that we see, you know, wreck so many teams in overtime. And here's Tabson opening up for big, looking to try and switch things up. Kirby and Gay, they've been a fantastic duo, though, at shutting down these pushes. God, B is fully flashed and face to face with Valdir and Gay. He's shut them both down. Tagged up a little bit lower. There's Smoothie charming in with one more. It all falls onto AZ, but he has been. The king of the clutch. He's been so cool and collected in these situations. 1v2, and he's going to spot out God B. 22 HP on the man. Ooh, you're now watching with his eagle eyes looking this way. And AZ tapped on the bomb. God B spraying him. He's missed the spray. Whoa. Finally lands it. And there we go. Big going to be picking up a 19th round as they trade one for one with North. What a play from God B. Everyone fully blind as, he, as they push through that smoke. Gade and... Um, was it Kierby? Going aggressive and uh, somehow God B gets both kills. No idea there, but fantastic work from the captain of Big. And now that's going to equal things up. 19-19. This is best case scenario. You always want teams to trade rounds because it means the third round of that half of overtime, both teams have money. If one team goes 2-0 and on the third round, especially if you've been buying orps, especially if you've buy, been buying double orps, the, the, the losing team who've lost both those rounds is going to be screwed for cash. And that's not what you like in overtime. That's not fun. So, let's see. Gade again aggressive. He's been here before in the previous OT, managing to get a couple of kills from this as well. In fact, North, they're done waiting. Even Kiebi's pushed up aggressive positions here from the CT side. They don't want Big to have too much breathing room. And hey, Kiebi can even time this flank very well. If Big commit to this B side play and actually wrap those two players down Ivy into CT spawn, maybe Kiebi can run up that ladder and stop them before they even get down the ramp. Oh, he's going to have to really live up to the uh, marathon man expectations there, though. Have his running shoes on, but he might just catch the timing. That smoke goes in and Gay now going to back away to here. The uh, pitter patter of his footsteps. Got B. My catch an unfortunate timing. The game of whack a mole has evolved. And he's going to go ahead and get the hell out of there. Valde in the meantime does catch a great timing to find that frag on an X. And there's no trade in sight from Tabson. So he gets cancelled out by that Molotov. And now 30 seconds left. Big, hard pushed for time. They tried to turn their sights back towards A. And Smuya, he's opened up. Has so much more to do. And a missed shot from AZ. That means we're back into the man Ooh. advantage up for big as Smuya continues this reign of terror in towards the A bomb site. Suddenly, blink of an eye, it's Valde and Kadian up against the world. And Smuya, three kills to his name already. That bomb going to go down just in the nick of time. Valde edging forward and Tizian just misses the time. The top B falls, but there's Tizian pouncing from the heavens and it's Kadian. 1v2, the new blood in north. To try and win out this uh, first half of the second overtime for him. 
This is no easy feat. He's going to get peeped up from the heavens. Missed shot now. Smuya can look to try and position to get an angle on Kadian. Tizzy and Fools. Time still ticking down. Smuya missed shot. Kadian going to start to aggress on forward. Has him behind the E-box, but the time's ticked down so low, and Smuya's playing this perfectly. He deletes him at the very end as well. Runs that clock down, and that's going to be a 20th round for Big. And once again, they'll be winning out that first half of overtime with a one-round advantage. Four kills from Smuya just from diving out main and, and killing the pop player. That's ridiculous. 20 rounds for a big, and they are back in the lead, Harry. It's been a long time coming, but here they are. However, if we go off of previous results, doesn't necessarily mean this game is over. North is still very much in the running for this one. However, they are going to need a flawless three rounds on this T side if they want to win it in this double overtime. Otherwise, they'll have to go to a third or alternatively lose the game. I'm sure none of them want that. Big only need two rounds on the other hand. Things are starting to tighten up here on round number I don't even know. 40. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, though. I mean, I, I think Big were having a better CT side time of things anyway. Winning out two just then on their T side. I just need two more here. I think that's what they're able to get in the uh, in the first half of their overtime. So they need to just match what they've already done. And this can be theirs for the win. North, meanwhile, they're going to have to dig deep and play some of the best CS we've seen them play all day if they want to win this map out now. They need to... Uh, they need to go flawless if they want to win it here. North being very methodical, flashing their way into the box halls. Not letting Big have any surprises for them, but as I say, that got B just dives into the pop dog and takes down Kierby, so that will really catch him off guard. One of the key players of the north side, especially in this map, removed instantly, and with no trade, no damage even done in response. This is massive for Big. Set them off to a strong start on this CT side. Tizian. Close to the smoke. Valdi's actually dropped a man in the pop dog. So Godby re-aggressing after finding a man advantage is a bit of a risky one. And that's going to definitely come back to haunt big. They may regret that because now Tizian's dead as well. Valdi shot him through the smoke. Oh dear, oh dear. What's happening to big? Yeah, this was their round to win. This was the one that went ahead and put them on map point. But now it looks like it might elude the man advantage up in favor of North. And uh, they're going to look to try and capitalize on the mistakes that big made. The man advantages that they gave up. Tabson. Does answer back with a frag on 2 AZ. Now it's just the three-man core for North charging in towards this B-bomb site. And there's Kadian with the first frag to Smuya. Blink of an eye, it's next. Left in a 1v3 and so much to do. Knifen is all there as well. I think does give up his position because there was a man nearby to hear it. So he's going to now just look to try and retreat. Hold on to this M4 into the next round. 20 to 20, all tied up. 22 rounds is uh, is what we're looking for for the win, Hugo, and uh, 21 for another overtime. Each, 21 each. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. I know you know. I'm okay, just clarifying. Right. You've watched your fair share of CS. I certainly have. I certainly have, and it's still always just as exciting as when I first started watching Hugo. That's so sweet. If not more, because now you know you, you start to appreciate the history behind it. But uh, look at this. All 34 tied up. kills for Smoothie right now. Top of the server. Well, the thing I'm having trouble working out, Kadian on 14 to 14, but that doesn't seem uh, right. Yeah, I think he, he had a reconnect, right? Yeah, 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 so. yeah. That's not accurate. If, if someone has a low amount of kills and deaths, it's just yeah, yeah. they reconnected. Um, oh, is that right? No, no, it's still, it's still showing Kadian mode. But yeah, either way, 2020 here. North still on the T side. Double orp up for big now. We haven't seen this in a while. Tabson and Smuya pulling those up, obviously. Tabson's down Ivy on this one. Smuya usually playing this position instead. He's actually close up towards t -Con. So playing very aggressive here, but problem is no one's here for North. They're all set up outside of that B-bomb site. They could drop back through Pop and with a combination of Kadian in main go for an A play, but with Kadian running in through the toilets right now, they are going to be going for this, B fa uh, this fast B-push. Tizian watching up. As next does as well. The Molotov's down, but it's a bit too late. However, the bomb has dropped into the hands of Big. Valde going to get one, but the trade is there with the Molotov, and it's back and forth into a 2v2 before you know it. Yeah, but it's Smoothie and Tabson left up, and both of these players donning the AWP in the retake. This is anything but ideal here for Big. You have to try and flush out Kadian and AZ. 
They do have two incendiaries though, and they are going to be worth their weight in gold in this retake. You can force AZ out into those orbs, and this is the one silver lining that they have. They can just batten down the hatches on these positions. The only issue is that Molotov missing its mark. As does the other, so the Molotovs have got nothing done, and AZ's just allowed to sit pretty here inside of the bomb site. Tabson rounds the corner, and AZ finds him. Smooey at 1v2, forced to back away and try and hold on to this AWP. You can see he really doesn't want to have the hesitancy in that, especially now as he finds Kadian, but the bomb time is already gone. He can't afford to lose this AWP. If AZ finds him, that is monumental for North. He's going to get away just in the nick of time. Now 21 to 20, North one round away from finally closing this out here on train. But Harry, if history were to repeat itself, I wouldn't be surprised if a third overtime was on the horizon. I mean, if history repeats, we're just going to go all evening. Yeah, like, this just gonna, never ends. Never going to stop. Well, let's see. Big, can they pull things back to a third OT or will North finally close out this game? It's heavy speeding up the pace. This could be what North need. Catch Big off guard, although this hasn't always worked. As a result, Smuya already dropping AZ. That close E-box position in the smoke. And look at the damage done from the utility. Big, known for that, of course. Valdi and Kadian tagged down so low. Kierby has wrapped all the way around, though, but he's lost two teammates in the process. There's a the trade. Will it be enough? He's been spotted. Godby back in the CT spawn, but Kierby finding two frags. Kierby might have made this possible. He might have made this the reality for North. There's Kadian chiming with another. Valda drops one, and Smooey oh. left alive. He's not ready for the wrap round, and North from the clutches of what looked like was going to be another overtime. They're able to pull it back and close out Train here versus Big. What a fantastic game that was. You know, that, that ended up being a roller coaster. you know? I mean, I, we uh, gave that analogy early on, but it really was back and forth throughout both these teams doing such a fantastic job. But towards the end, let me just say the resilience that North demonstrated, especially with the new IGL, I think is, is so commendable to, uh, to actually still close this one out. Yeah, ridiculous stuff, and I'm very, very, you know, proud to see North actually get away with that win despite the new uh, roster changes. So that'll be the first map done. We'll be back with Overpass in just a few minutes, but first, a quick break. Join us after that if you want to watch the next map between these two teams. You will not, you should not miss it.